Hello, everybody, and welcome on into Dungeon Mechanics. Uh, today, we are going to be running a one shot called The Prophecy of Chaos. Um, before we begin, um, I would like to start off uh, with some announcements. Let me pull this up real quick. All right. Um, I would like to take the time to thank some of our sponsors uh, for the channel, and uh, our first sponsor of the day is the Barkley Garage. This veteran-owned woodworking company creates homemade wood items sourced in New Mexico. Now available is a new line of Dungeon Mechanics exclusive dice towers, available for order. Use the promo code MEC25 to get 25% off of these fine dice towers today, and tell them the Dungeon Mechanics sent you. Um, I think Laura's next. <laughs> Almost forgot to unmute myself. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Our next sponsor is Plus One Crafting. If you need affordable terrain builds for your tabletop RPGs, Plus One has you covered. From a wide assortment of tile-based sets, you will be all the rage at your next D&D session. Head to the link in the chat to put your order in today. Use code MECHANICS for 25% off any order over $50. Remember, adventure shouldn't cost you a fortune. And Underground Oracle is our next sponsor. So wouldn't you like to have a unique cre content created by the best-selling writers and game developers? Well, Underground Oracle has you covered. With their supplements, you will gain access to 5th edition resources for both sides of the screen. Their content comes in a wide array available at affordable prices, as little as $3 a month, via Patreon or Ko-fi. And in the event that it's too rich for your blood, don't worry, they'll take care of you with free content that is offered each month. You can also check them out by clicking the link below and heading over to undergroundoracle.com or drivethroughrpg.com today. Wouldn't you like to never have to worry about your videos being demonetized again? With our next sponsor, over at Epidemic Sound, the Sound Gods have you covered. With over 35,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects, there's definitely a sound for everyone. Epidemic Sound links to all your social media accounts, such as Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, and more. Simply click the link below and sign up to get started on your subscription today. So, so, okay, guys, look, I know that not everyone has free time. You know, we all have to adult and that, that, that's, that's a given. Cause you know, we're all adults. At least most of us outwardly are adults inside. We might be children. Who knows? Point being, we don't have the time to just be everywhere all at once. And sure. You might not be able to be here, but if you want to go like, you know, catch this whenever you want to watch it on your time and this will probably go up on youtube late like immediately afterwards probably maybe so if you want to watch that if you want to watch this at your own time go subscribe to the youtube channel you know go click click that link in the chat and it'll take you over there and if we get 100 subs we get our own personal link that way you could just go to youtube.com forward slash dungeon mechanics and that's it you don't have to type in a bunch of letters you don't have to go to youtube and search us up you could just do that and it'll pop up like nothing and it'll help a lot also. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, yeah. If you want to subscribe and help the channel grow or anything like that, or, you know, tell your friends. And if not your friends, tell random people on the street that, hey, you know, go subscribe to them. Go follow them on Twitch and all that good stuff. Yeah, just do that. That'd be awesome. Because, yeah, you, you want to support everybody here, right? You want to do that, right? You want you, you want to do that, right? You, you want to do that, right? Right? Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, okay, Reeves. Good luck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Calm down, Reeves. Calm down. It's fine. Take it a breath. All right. All right. All right. But um, today we will also be giving away some free dice. All you have to do is enter exclamation point prize to enter into the running. Um, so chill out with us throughout the stream. And at the end of the stream tonight, we will announce the winner. Uh, you guys have to be members of the Discord so we can obtain mailing information and you must also be a u.s or uh 
Canada resident, excluding Quebec, because Quebec, your giveaway laws make things very, very difficult. So I am very sorry, Quebec. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that about does it for announcements. So we can get going on our lovely story for today. Um, we will be starting off at the city of Dahlia. Um, our adventurers have just come back from uh, dealing with a uh, mission for the city's adventuring guild. And let me move you all over to the guild hall. <laughs> So, you all have just returned from dealing with some mountain trolls, I do believe, that was ravaging the um, small villages and towns that were kind of settled on the base of a nearby mountain range of the city. Hm. Uh, you guys want to go ahead and drag your characters on the board, because if I do it, roll 20 is silly and won't let you guys control your characters. Yes, World 20 is currently being silly. I see our faces and the map, but the map's blocked by our faces. I have no clue what I'm doing with World 20. So if you go on the actual World 20 site, mm -hmm. um, if you go to the far right, there should be some buttons you can press. There's a journal button. Um, there should be like a little like a newspaper icon and if you click on that you should be able to see your character and once you do you just drag your name over onto the board. Mm. Mine's not let me do that. <laughs> I still see other people's faces. Okay, Clinton, try now. Or, wait, nope. I'm a big silly. Big silly. Okay, now try. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Cool. But, um, yep, so you all enter into the guild hall and, uh, you see a few of the, uh, mercenaries that work in the guild kind of just hanging out, chilling out, um, and you see, uh, a familiar face. You would know her as, um, Lillian, um, and she looks all over at all of you. So, how did it go, oh great heroes? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it is a, a bit terrible. Well, I'm assuming uh, that all of you came back alive. It was successful. Uh, it through? For the most part, yes. He kind of raises the brow. Most part. Oh, it's a little complicated, but it's nothing to worry about. It was very smelly. <laughs> uh, the trolls do not know how to take a bath. If you just say that. Lillian kind of looks over at uh, you, Lynn. Please tell me you actually took care of the problem. Oh, well, we took care of the problem, but as they said, it wasn't very accommodating to the senses. Ah. Right. Well, um, if you're looking for... Um, Mr. Guildmaster, he is out in the uh, courtyard sparring. 
Oh. Very well. Shall we all go, or would you like... Would, would you all like a drink or something? Uh, perhaps we should uh, <clears throat> go to the guild master first, and then toast our victory after. Alright. Lailing Pyre raises up her, her mug. I can agree to that. <laughs> uh. Alright. <clears throat> I will start heading out to the to go see the guildmaster and see how that fight is going to see if they're losing or winning <laughs> um so we have route who's going who else is going to go talk with the guildmaster lynn is probably going. go chevalier would probably go okay so all of you are going all right so yeah. um all of you kind of make your way um to the courtyard which is this kind of general location over here. Um, you make it there, and um, you see uh, another mercenary uh, crossing blades with the um, guild master, um, who you would know as Flown. Um, and by the looks of it, Flown is totally kicking this dude's butt. <laughs> Um, any blow that this mercenary is throwing at him, he's easily able to deflect. Um, and eventually you do see he kind of like maneuvers his way to blocking the mercenary's sword and then kicking out the guy's feet from under him. And he has now placed the tip of his blade at the guy's throat. Uh, friend. You're gonna have to work on your uh, footwork. The mercenary kind of grumbles a bit um, while kind of like pushing the tip of the blade away, and Clown uh, sees all of you kind of walk out, and um, you see him kind of offer his hand to help the mercenary up on his feet and kind of pats him on the shoulder, whispering something in his ear uh, before kind of sheathing his blade and uh, walking over to all of you. Well, welcome back, friends. How did the job go? Greetings, Guildmaster. The job went well. Lynn, Flown. Just call me Flown. Please. Yes. Flown. Of course. And he, he smiles and he goes, Well, why don't we go back into the guild hall and, and discuss what happened exactly? You can tell me all about how you vanquished these mountain trolls. Uh, uh, okay. We'll lead the way, Flam. <laughs> also, is that just your signature move by chance, or what, what is that? The sweeping of the legs. And he kind of gives you this smirk. Well, if you really want to find out, we could always spar another time. Nah, I'm not about that, but thank you for the offer. Kind of just chuckles with a nod and uh, <laughs> leads you all back inside the, the guild hall. <laughs> oh. So tell me, how was the journey to and from? Uh... It was quite a long journey, but I think a journey well taken. You know, I had no it doubt that it. you all couldn't handle the task at hand. Uh, a few months and throws, that's nothing. We've stopped, we've stopped so many things, and of course we're the heroes, so of course. What would a few mountain throws be to us? Of course, of course. Very smelly, I could tell you that. My other cochran nose is uh, just, it, it's his fuming right now. It is not happy. <clears throat> <laughs> he kind of raises a brow. Do air crocus actually end smell? Yes. Not... How do you think he find that prey at night? Never thought that birds could actually smell. You know, they say if you picked up, you pick up a baby bird that the parent birds won't, wouldn't take care of it because the scent of, you know, 
human senses on, on the baby, but... I don't know, I've helped a lot of baby birds in my time, in, in, in my youth, and... Parents didn't seem bothered. So I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, that's why I ask. R regardless. Um, and he kind of... Nefdos is going <clears> to <throat> chirp in. Well, that depends on how long you spend with the baby birds. Some seconds, no big deal. A little longer, the scent will be heavier and they won't have anything to do with it. Oh, I see. I did not know that. I'll have to take note. Um, and he will reach into uh, a coin purse that he has strapped onto his belt. And he takes the pouch and he places it on the table. Your payment for the job. Does anybody take it? <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on, we have some slight technical difficulties. Be right back. <laughs> 